What is up my friends and fellow collectors out there? So I've gotten a few requests to get a better look at the Mythosaur Skull by Regal Robot. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's get to this. So if this is your first time on the channel, we do a lot of talk about collecting, Star Wars, and all kinds of other geek stuff, Marvel, DC, all kinds of stuff. If you're into all of that, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on all of the content. And also, we are on the road to 25,000 subscribers. We are getting really freaking close. And when we get there, we're gonna be giving away a Sideshow Hulk maquette, that big freaking statue that was sculpted by Daniel Bell. It's a bad boy, man. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe to this channel and tune in to the video. When we hit 25,000 subscribers, I'll release the rules at that point. So with all of that, let's take a look at this badass piece. So this piece right here is the Mythosaur Skull, or some people call it the Bantha Skull, or you know, just the Boba Fett symbol, you know? And it's, it's a badass piece, I love it. So I got this one, it's because I was trying to give my room a little more bounty hunter type of feel. I didn't want it just to be you know, empire with the uh, with the imperial walls that I put in on this one. So I wanted to give it a little more flair since I'm into uh, hunting collectibles. I figured that, you know, goes with the whole bounty hunter theme. So this right here was designed and created by Regal Robot and they gave three different options. This is the big one right here. This one cost $275. There is one just size be uh, below it that has like a wall plaque. It's got like a orangey yellow kind of wall plaque it looks similar to the armor that boba fett wears which is pretty nice that one's like 99 dollars. and then they have a very small one that you can have like on your desk at work and i think that one's like around 34 bucks you know if you wanted to get it i was super impressed with the way this looked when i finally got it out um you know i really was just expecting i don't really know what i was expecting exactly just you know something simple but the design on this is really nice uh they did a really good job with making it look and feel like bone uh it's got some nice weight to it you know i would say like in the range of like five to seven pounds probably for this it's not super heavy so you don't have to worry about it mounting on the wall and then falling off um so that they give you the option to mount it on the wall you have this hook here that they put in and you just put a screw into the wall and it can mount like that uh, I believe the same thing for the wall plaque version. Uh, but what's really nice is just all of the texturing that they threw into this and the sculpt. I mean, you can see that it's got like grooves and and uh, and cavities here in the in the bone, which look you know give it that nice realistic flair to it. Um, you know, I can't say enough good things. I mean, even in the eyes, I love the detail that they threw in here with the eyes. You know, you can see like pores and um, and just all kinds of different imperfections that you would expect to see from like a bone, you know, that's been sitting around forever on a wall. Uh, so it's cool, it's even got the split right here and then you got that split here on the top there, which looks really cool. On the back side, even though you know you don't see this, you can see the teeth, you know, which is freaking neat, you know? So that's, that's really cool. You know, and you got the bone teeth here at the bottom that you see when you have it on the wall and then the, the uh, horns which look really cool so i mean it, it's really nice the paint work on it also done very well it's got kind of like an off-white uh color to it with like uh some light browns uh to in dark browns to give it some depth and texturing on it there is no number addition on these so that you can get them still at regal robot or at sideshow uh, depending on where you want to get it i'll leave you a link to regal robot because they've been having some really good sales for the holidays and sometimes you can get these at a, at a pretty low price and they uh, and they ship really quickly too a friend of mine just picked up one of the uh, thermal detonators or the, um, the sticky detonators that uh, that the mandalorian carries and he got it like within like a week or two it's really fast so you might be able to get this one pretty quick when i bought mine i got it from sideshow but um it was on back order at that point i think that there was just i just happened to hit that wave so it took a while for me to get it but i was really happy once it came in um i think i did a, a huge haul video on it but i never actually did the review on it for you guys i absolutely think it's cool if you're into the mandalorian if you're into boba fett you know and you want that kind of decor going on uh this looks really cool like i've seen it where you mount it on the wall and you can put boba fett like right in front of it I think that looks is, is a really op nice option for it. I have mine up at above my helmets. And my idea is, is that I wanted to make it kind of like a hunter's lodge type of vibe when, you know, so uh, obviously my room's not big enough to be a hunter's lodge, but you know, that's that's where I want to go with it. So other things I want to get is like maybe like a, a dead head of like Jar Jar Binks or like a Wookiee uh, head on there is another thing I was thinking about getting to go with it. 
and I think that'll it'll add more to just the whole the whole thing. So it, it's a real cool Star Wars piece, very inexpensive when when you uh, think about the size of this and the quality of what you're getting. Uh, really cool for you know gift for a Star Wars fan if you if you're looking to get that. So awesome stuff. I'm happy with it. So that's it. That's this Mythos Heart Skull. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Did you guys pick it up? Or are you guys into the other one? They have another one that they have uh, on there for the current Mandalorian series where you have uh, a Mythosar that is like, it, it looks to be like metal, almost like Beskar, like it's made out of Beskar. Uh, and I didn't get that one yet. I, you know, I may get that one too. Uh, if you guys want to see a review on that, you know, I may just go ahead and swing that up. Just let me know in the comments below. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this one. And as always, guys, keep it marvelous and may the force be with you.